Hello everyone! Welcome to this evening yoga flow. This is a great yoga sequence which you can do after a long day at work. Come to seated. Sit on a yoga bolster or yoga block or cushions. Place your hands on your kneecaps. Roll the shoulders back and down. Close your eyes. Just take a moment here to connect with your breath. Listening to your in-breath and your out-breath and forgetting about everything else around you for the next few minutes. It's just you and your body and your breath. Keep your eyes completely soft. The jaw is soft. Inhale, blink the eyes open, move your bolster to the side and then change the crossing of your legs. Place the right hand to the right side. Inhale, lift your left arm up and over, reaching all the way to the right side. Keep your hips grounded. Breathe in to reach further. Exhale, release. And then reaching all the way to the left side. Inhale, exhale, relax the neck, breathe in, come back to center and then place the right hand on your left knee, inhale, lengthen first, exhale, twist to the left, looking over your left shoulder, breathe in to lengthen and exhale to twist further to the left, breathe in. Exhale, turn the ribcage to the left. Beautiful. Come back to center, other side. Left hand on your right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn and twist to the right side. Breathe in. Exhale, turn. Again, breathe in. Exhale, turn. Inhale, look back forward. Change one more time the crossing of your legs. Place the right hand on your left knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up and over. Come into a beautiful side stretch. Relax the neck here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly release, other side, the left hand on your right knee, and then reaching your right arm up and over. Relax your shoulder, your left shoulder. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, breathe in. And exhale. Inhale, come back to center. And then from here, we're going to move into child's pose. Have your knees as wide as the mat. Reach your hands forward and then rest your forehead on the yoga mat. If your forehead is quite far away from the mat, you can have a cushion underneath your forehead. Sink your hips back towards your heels. And just take a moment here to relax fully. With each out breath, sink your chest further down towards the floor. Breathe in fully. Exhale, letting go fully. Again, breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale, beautiful. Now move your hands all the way to the right side. Keep your hips down. Have your left hand on top of your right hand. Relax your head down. Breathe in. And breathe fully out. Inhale. With each out breath, relax a little bit more. Breathe in to reach further away from you. Exhale, soften the chest down. Inhale, 
Come to center and then move your hands all the way to the left. Breathe in to reach your hands further away from you. Breathe out, soften your hips back. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe fully out, inhale, come back to center and then slowly release, now we're going to sit back on the heels, heels touching, toes touching, if that's uncomfortable you can tuck your toes under. Grab the left side of your face with your right hand and then bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, relaxing the left completely. This is a beautiful neck stretch. Breathe in here and breathe fully out. Breathe in and breathe out and change sides. Now grab the right side of your face with your left hand bring your left ear towards your left shoulder and then relaxing the right shoulder completely breathe in exhale again breathe in exhale now interlace your hands in front of you push your hands forward round your spine and then as you inhale, lift your arms all the way up, keep your chest lifted. Exhale, push your hands forward around your spine. This is like a cat cow posture seated. And then inhale, lift your arms all the way up, keep your sternum lifted. Exhale, push your hands forward, rounding your back. Inhale, lift your arms back up. Release your hands down. And then come into all fours with your knees hip width apart and your hands shoulder width apart. And just shifting your hips from side to side. This feels really good after a long day sitting around. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling, cat cow posture. Exhale, push the floor away, rounding your back. From here, breathe in, look up towards the ceiling, arch your back. And then exhale, looking at your belly. And again, breathe in, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, push the floor away. And inhale, looking up. Exhale, rounding the back. Beautiful. Inhale, look up, arch your spine. Exhale, push the floor away. And then slowly coming to neutral spine. From here, lower your chest down. Keep your elbows close to you. Come on your belly, sphinx pose. Forearms parallel. Look forward, lengthen the back of your neck. Breathe in. And breathe out. Lower your chest down. Grab your right foot with your right hand. This is a beautiful quad stretch. You can rest your forehead on your hands and just stay here and enjoy this beautiful stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale, release, grabbing your left foot with your left hand. Resting your forehead on your hands. Stretching your left quad here. Breathe in. And exhale. Focusing on your in-breath. And on your out-breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release. Now we're going to go into another lower back stretch. Come on your fingertips, have your hands forward, lift your chest off the mat, looking forward and hold it here for a moment. Relax your shoulders down 
and then coming all the way back down. From here, you're gonna shift your weight back, and then we're gonna come into our downward facing dog position. If you've got a slippery mat, you can grab the outside of the mat, like I do, and then you can bend one leg at a time, or both, or you can straighten both legs. Breathe in to lengthen your spine, and breathe out to lower your heels towards the floor. Breathe in, stretch the arms strongly. Exhale, come to seated, and then take your legs forward. Sitting bones back. Inhale, lift your arms. And exhale, come into a forward fold. You can also use a yoga strap here. Inhale to lengthen fully. And as you exhale, relax your chest down towards the floor. Breathe in fully. And then breathing out fully. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to hold it here for a moment. If you like, close your eyes. So you can really focus on your breath. And then slowly release, coming out of the posture. Now we're going to bend the right leg. And as you exhale, we're going to fold forward over your left leg. Breathe in. Exhale. And hold it here first. Breathe in through the nose and breathing fully out through the nose. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. Inhale, come out of the posture. Now we're going to bend the left leg, inhale to lengthen, and exhale to fold forward. Keep your eyes soft, facial muscles are soft, breathe in, and breathe fully out. posture. Straighten both legs. Now from here we're going to move into Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then from here we're going to slide the hands forward. And then we're going to stay here in this hip opener. And if you would like to do this option, you can rest your forehead on a yoga block or on a yoga bolster. This feels very relaxing for your head and your neck. Enjoy this beautiful hip opener. Breathe in. And breathe fully out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, come out of the posture and then bring your knees together. Now we're going to lie on our back, we're going to do one shoulder bridge. But first, make sure you're lying flat on your back with your arms by the side. Just take a moment here first. And then when you're ready, lift your pelvis, push the arms down towards the floor. 
and then really engage your glutes and as you exhale lower your pelvis back down and then just drop your knees together feet wide this feels so good on your lower back just stay here for a moment shoulders relaxed eyes are soft and now you're gonna use a yoga strap if you don't have a yoga strap you can use a scarf or a pair of socks and then you're going to start to straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling. Push the left heel down towards the floor. Draw your elbows down and shoulders relaxed. We're going to hold here first to stretch out the hamstrings. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take the right leg to the right side, checking that the left hip is not coming off the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Moving your right leg all the way across now and you should feel the stretch in your right glute. Breathe in and breathe fully out. And then release. Moving on to the left side, so now you're going to take the left leg all the way up towards the ceiling using the strap. Push the right heel down. Breathe in. And breathe fully out. Here we're going to take the left leg to the left side, keep the right hip on the floor, and breathe in, and breathe fully out. the left leg all the way across and then you should feel a stretch here on your left outer hip left glute
to slowly move out of the posture and hopefully you won't be distracted now like I am and you're gonna come into happy baby posture and you can hold it for a little bit longer than I will do this is our final posture so you can hold happy baby pose for a little bit longer or you can already come into Shavasana you can have your head slightly lifted on a cushion and then just start to relax here completely. Obviously you can stay here for as long as you want. And then slowly bring your knees into your chest, roll from side to side and then from here you're gonna roll over to the right side supporting your head and then you're gonna come to seated. same position as we started have your eyes closed just take a moment here to be grateful for yourself for your yoga practice and i'm gonna also say thank you so much for joining this yoga class if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and i'm gonna see you in the next yoga video inhale lift your arms all the way up Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, bowing forward. Thank you, thank you so much for joining my class. Take care. Namaste.